Good day folks, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. Today I'm doing a, a bit of a wireless survey. I'm just uh, rationalizing, testing, and trying to make sure things work as advertised. So two things. Uh, number one, I've got a, a little floor plan, really crude little box. I put the access points here, and what I did was I put the last four characters of the MAC address. I put the SSID, the signal to noise ratio, and the RSSI, or signal strength. I just put them there for reference. Now, for this next part, I know you're all going to jump on me, but just hold on a sec. I'm going to use the AirCheck uh, G2 from NetScout, and I'm basically going to uh, check these values out as well as some other testing. So some people may say, well, the AirCheck, you can do something called an air map. Yes, I know that. But this time, I don't need all that. I just want something quick and dirty uh, because I don't, I don't need all that other jazz right now. So let's take a look at the air check here. Here he is. And all I've done, turned it on, went to the access points. There they are. Now, if you notice, there's a big red X here, and that's because I have a filter on. All I filtered on was the 5 gigahertz band over here. That's all I did. So all my 5 gigahertz access points came up. Now, in a busier, uh, I'm going to say busier Wi-Fi environment, you could filter on uh, BSSID, SSID, channel, whatever you want to kind of narrow the list down. In my case, this was good enough. So all of all four of these physical access points are spread out throughout the place. And here we go. I'm going to click on the first guy. And this is this 5 gigahertz garage guy, which is over here. And you can see the signal noise ratio 20 uh, and the RSSI size negative 74. And what I did was I took... Uh, five samples or in this case if it's a constant value just five seconds worth I eyeballed it averaged it out and I put it on the map from here I'm going to move down the screen and hit connect again I don't know if you can see that there it is connect so now I've inputted my WPA2 value into the tool it's obviously connecting to it it's getting an IP address and as it gets all this stuff it tries to make sure it exists so it gives you a green bar the only thing that's not going to work now is obviously the link live stuff because I didn't set that up. I don't need that right now. What I do need is this test button. Click. I'm going to do an iPerf test. Now this is complaining. I have my Ethernet cable connected to it so I can do this remote session. I know that. Normally I would unplug the Ethernet cable, but I just want to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to click OK. And right now it's doing this scan for remotes. I don't need that. There's the IP of my laptop running iPerf3 and I'm simply going to hit start. It's going to run off. It's going to do some throughput tests to that access point and basically give me the results. I'm going to run that five times. I'm going to put the averages in this little table over here and report my findings. Again, I can do all of this in AirMap. I will probably do a separate video for that, but sometimes I don't need all that stuff. I just want some quick and dirty stuff. So I'll get back to this chart when I'm done with the values. All right, so the results are in, and here we are. So I've put the axis points A, B, C, D, which correlate back to this map, A, B, C, and D. All right, folks, so we're back from our tests. Again, I've done five samples for each one of these upload and download speeds, and of the five, I dropped the low, I dropped the high, I averaged three, and I ended up with these numbers. So let's look at A for a second. A is over here. There's B, and C and D are outside. So let's look at A and B. And you can see A has a, a slightly, I'm going to say, not as great RSSI compared to this one, obviously. Negative 49 is better than negative 78. And basically, you could see this guy outperformed him. So let's see where B is. B. And obviously, I was standing right about here. That's where I did my test. So obviously, I was closer to this guy and further away from this guy. And A got us 38 up and 113 down. Now, just a little note, I double checked. There was nobody on any of the five gigahertz SSIDs. There were a few people on the 2.4 gig on, on two of these access points A and B. But again, that's fine, because all I want to show you is the methodology, and you can tweak and change whatever you like along the way. So this was, um, it is what it is. It's the first time we've done a baseline, so we don't know if it's good, we don't know if it's bad. It's just what it is. Then if we do it again later or we make a change, the numbers mean more. 
look at the outside values. So we, outside, look at this, negative 82 and negative 74. And surprisingly enough, this guy, negative 82, still got a respectable 31 meg up and 38 meg down. Look at that. And this guy got 80 up and 68 down. So this is, this is meant to illustrate something very simple. Even if you know things like SNR or RSSI, uh, you don't know what that means as far as throughput goes. Now, just because you have good throughput doesn't mean it would be good for uh, streaming or voice calls. That's a whole other thing. I just wanted to show bulk throughput. The last thing to keep in mind uh, with all this stuff is I know I used my NetAlly AirCheck G2. I mentioned that a few times. You don't need to use that. So you could use just iPerf and you could just get your RSSI values from your laptop or your phone or even just write three bars, four bars. Start, you know, with whatever you got, you can start the same process. I like the air check for two reasons. One, it gave me the SNR and a whole bunch of other RF stats. I mean, Wi-Fi stats that I could not get with my actual laptop. And if I wanted to connect to a specific access point or BSS ID, I could do that with the air check. I cannot do that with my laptop or my tablet or my phone. I've tried all sorts of utilities. Uh, none of them seem to work consistently or properly. So I'm going to stick with my air check when it comes to that. All right, folks. So hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.